The Bauchi state governor, Bala Mohammed, has thrown his weight behind the embattled senator Aduningi. Lagos reporters had reported that Senator Ningi, representing Bauchi Central Senatorial District, was suspended after he alleged that the 2024 budget was padded with untraceable 3.5 trillion naira. After the suspension, the lawmaker resigned as chairman of the Northern Senators Forum. Speaking on the on the issue on Wednesday, Governor Bala said Ningi is being persecuted for speaking the truth. Mohammed, who spoke during the Senate Executive Council meeting at the government house, Bauchi, said he is saddened by the development. According to him, Senator Ningi's claim on the budget was genuine, stressing that the lawmaker was suspended for standing up for what was right. Yesterday, I was very sad, though. The Senate suspended one of our best from Bauchi for saying the truth, for standing up to be the Beckham of the truth. Mohammed, who is also the chairman PDP Governors Forum, said, Equally, I don't know what we will do, but we will discuss privately to see what we, we can do to support him because I support whatever he's doing and what and that is our best uh, position especially if what he's saying is the truth. Anyway, suspending him will not solve the problem. What should we expect when criminals are the helm of affairs? May God bless Senator Ningi. Hmm? May God bless Senator Ningi. He is a criminal and only Satan, and not, not God will bless him. Why don't you help him to prove his allegations with fat and figures? Are you so low-minded to think that the so-called senators will be against him if he was right? Northern senators demanded proof he could not get it. The Senate demanded proof he, he dodged the question and started talking about personal allowances and constituency allocation. Is that pardon? To stop supporting evil. He wanted to, to cause more trouble between the, the North and South by accusing Okwabio of paddling the budget to favor the, the South against the North. Do you know the weight, the weight of the allegation that Tinubu is operating two budgets. They were too lenient with him. He should have been suspended for a year. Is the Senate presidency exclusive right of Northerners? Hmm. I don't even understand some people. This is not the issue. Nigerians have to wise up. Someone just dropped that, you know. You just hear so when I read. Nigerians have to wise up. This is not the issue of the Southerners and the Northerners. Someone made an allegation. According to this person now, he's really weighty. Let them investigate. Is it not the same house a senator said, senators were given 500 million naira each? And investigate these senators. What did they use the money for? That 500 million naira that was given to them in their constituency was used for what? We keep on using tribalism to blind our eyes to see the truth. Suspending him is just like you don't want the truth to be heard. You are talking about to make Okwabio look good. Don't, don't you remember all those things that was associated with Godwin Okwabio? Even during when he was the governor of Akwaibon State, when he was the minister of NDDC, he has issues on ground with EFCC. How did he even get to that Senate and everything? If now, if now that one not just go there. The truth is that anybody that stands up for the truth, they will come after you. Now, some senators are now saying, why did you go to the press and, and, and talk? You should have come secretly and discussed this thing. And let's see how it goes. How Nigerians are suffering, they are telling us there is no money.
300 trillion naira and something. How many are we in this country? The small thing when we they gain from this country, they, they don't they don't knock and come out. In the name of first subsidy, they want to uh, make Nigerians benefit. What are we gaining? What are we gaining as Nigerians? There is no country in the world that don't subsidize one thing or the other. One thing or the other. But here, yeah, politicians have it all. They are living good life. They live large. What they are children. They will tell us to, to make sacrifice. People should just forget about the, uh, uh, the, 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 the southerners and this and this. That is not the issue. This is not the issue of, tribe, of, of tribalism here. We are talking about 3 trillion naira that was padded. He, he cannot just come out and say something like that if nothing like that happened. So the Senate have to prove to Nigerians. We want, they should give, let there be transparency. We need accountability. They should tell us what they are doing there. Not just going, not, not just going there to share money. At the end of the day, you say, why did this person speak? That is not the issue. Whether the senator is from the north, the Senate president is from the south, and this happened, this is not the issue. The issue here is that where is that three trillion naira going to? And it's for what? The 500 million naira they shared to those senior senators in the, in the house is for what? What constituency job did they use it for? Did they actually use the money? Because the last time I checked for a very long time, even during Muhammad Buhari, there is nothing like constituency projects. These people have stopped working. Always tell us there is no money. But they are busy sharing money. I don't even understand how they they share this money. I feel say if you want build school for your constituency, you get a particular, you know, amount or whatever. That is what you will give. So they just go to the house and start sharing money to people. Until Nigerians get sense, understand, say, you, not a northerner and the southerner, they are not, they are not, they are not enemies. You have to face these people who have turned this country like this. But it's only then we move forward. I'm dropping it here, guys. Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section.